Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're reacting to what if the dinosaurs didn't go extinct 65, oh, 65 million years ago. It's a long time. Uh, but yeah, if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe and recommend me more videos to react to. And yeah, let's watch. Humanity has existed on the planet for about 300,000 years. We've survived many Only? wars, nuclear bombings, famines, and deadly pandemics. But what if we were on Earth 200 million years ago? Most modern threats to humans didn't yet exist then. However, there was something worse than a hydrogen bomb and incurable diseases. Dinosaurs. What Not would really. we do in a world full of huge lizards? Could we have Eat lasted them. even a day on the planet during the Jurassic period? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I think this guy misunderstood something. I don't think, like, it just takes time, you know, as long as humans are in, in the dinosaur world for a long time, it, you're going to see they're going to start eating dinosaurs like, like it was birds. So, <laughs> I definitely... I definitely think uh, they wouldn't have been a big, they would have been a threat for the first, you know, couple hundred thousand years, but then boom, develop weapons, you know, start eating dinosaurs. They're like pets in the future, you feel me? Forget everything you learned about dinosaurs and this era from Steven mm. Spielberg movies. Today, or maybe we're I going to face the truth from a dinosaurs. scientific point of view. If modern humans found themselves in the Jurassic period, they wouldn't recognize the Earth. At that time, everything looked different, and even the position of the continents was different. Pangaea had just begun to split in two, changing the climate and allowing the planet's population to grow. And in every sense, it was during the Jurassic period that dinosaurs became the dominant species. It was only their mass extinction that Ooh. helped mammals get ahead, which eventually led to the appearance of humans. But that's still a long way off. The main goal of humans in the Jurassic period would be to not get eaten. The well-known Tyrannosaurus Rex was able to accelerate up to 72 kilometers per hour. That's 45 miles per hour. And this at a- Yo, I still kind of don't understand the T-Rex, like, like the um the arms bro is too small you feel me like you're big bro like what like you were skipping arm day bro you got huge legs you're a big boy and yet you can't you don't have big arms like what are you doing bro the t-rex i feel like it was nerfed um it definitely could have you know used bigger arms but mm. I don't know, maybe the, the smaller ones were cool too. Of 14 tons. But there were lighter and faster dinosaurs that hunted in groups. For them, a human would be easy Yo, prey. These things look Speed, ugly. Binocular vision, excellent sense of smell, night vision, and killer instincts. American paleontologist and evolutionary biologist Stefan Broussat from the University of Edinburgh believes that it would have taken a lot of effort to avoid death. However, predatory dinosaurs would not have been the only problem for humans because there were also herbivores. These were no less dangerous than predators and were quite capable of hitting you with a spiked tail or impaling you with a yes. horn. Simply frightening. <laughs> Moreover, you might not have noticed and been trampled to death. It's believed that Diplodocus Damn. was the size of that four would mean elephants. More food. Next to this, a person Sheesh. would feel like a cat next to its owner. Hunting such massive animals would be incredibly difficult. To this day, scientists don't know how strong the skin of dinosaurs was. This means that it's not known whether it could have been pierced with a mm. knife, a spear, or even oh, a shit. bullet. Even if you managed to kill a dinosaur, its smell would attract predators and scavengers. If you stuck around for a long time with a huge piece of raw meat, you definitely have been smelled. Well, okay, well, I feel, I feel like that's good though. Like aside from, um. Mm, what do you call it? Uh, aside from like the skin, I feel like dinosaurs really like they're scary, but like, I don't think they're made to be like a cheat code. You feel me? Like, 
um, let's say it had like fairly hard skin, like not too hard to like be like, let's say if you could throw a spear fast enough, you could crack the skin. Cause if, if it was like, if it was like, um, let's give it, cro you know, crocodiles have like, you know, really hard skin. Let's give it that type of skin. I feel like humans, you know, I have some hope in, you know, humanity. So I feel like they definitely could have done something to these uh, dinosaurs, man. Like, I'm not really, maybe like if I was in comparison, if I was next to a dinosaur, I'd be like, okay, you won, buddy, you won. I probably would have said that, but I'm on, you know, I'm just watching it's through a screen. So I'm confident I'm like, I could beat this dinosaur up because... I could eat it. it. That's how it looks like to me. <laughs> and eaten. This isn't the end of the problem. During Just the Jurassic period, the oxygen content in the atmosphere was oh, quite low, terrible. about 15%. Today, this figure is 21%. Most likely, modern humans, once the age of the dinosaurs, would have experienced hypoxia. This, in turn, can develop into altitude sickness, which leads to constant shortness of breath, oh, spatial to that, disorientation, coma, and sometimes death. But let's say we could have handled it. What about water sources? The human body isn't used to the bacteria and microorganisms of the Jurassic. Therefore, a sip of water from any reservoir could be deadly. Today, drinking water undergoes multi-stage treatment, but the risk is still not zero. What can we say about the Jurassic period? Catching a parasite here, or even catching an ancestor of malaria from an ancient midge would have been more than realistic. It's likely that the dinosaurs themselves hosted giant flat and round worms and millions of other parasites that permeated the organisms of ancient reptiles through and through. Don't forget about the various insects or snakes Damn. that lurked everywhere. So this video is just telling us like a million ways you could die as a human back in that uh, Jurassic period. Yo, mm, all right, let's be fair with the humans. Let's say, because like this video, was, like they're just assuming, oh, a human just came from the sky and landed in Jurassic period. Now you're by yourself. There you go. Let's just assume, you know, you brought some stuff with you. You know, you bought your phone. Nah, your phone is going to help you. But you bought like, you got some helpful, you know, stuff. You got a huge machine gun, AK-47. You got all the good stuff. Assuming like that. Because, I mean, I feel like... Mmm... Just take Elon Musk this place, bro. In a couple of years, I have the whole place done and fully ready to be inhabited by humans. But, um, yeah, so many ancestors back there, man. I mean, I wonder if they're toxic to eat, though. If it was like regular meat, bro, that would be like world hunger solved. Because, bro, these dinosaurs, it was probably a lot, millions, billions. Probably not, maybe not billions, I jazzed it a little bit, but free food, if you could kill it. Touch or bite from and they're all huge too, so any bug life. now. For example, the web of the giant spider, Nephilia jurassica. Oh, huge Scientists don't stuff. know if it was poisonous, but it's known for sure that it wove a one oh. and a half meter or five that foot network of strong golden silk. Perhaps even small dinosaurs got caught in it. Let's now look at what humans would have eaten Apples. 200 million years ago. One of the best options would have been oh. eggs. Huge lizard eggs, rich in protein, would have helped omelets. satisfy hunger, but you're not the only one who thinks so. Many other dinosaurs like to ravage clutches for a snack. You would have had to act quickly to stay ahead of the competition and not get hurt by Bro, the I just mother. need a Hellcat if you in this period and I'm, I'm sweet, I'm cool with it. You would have been able to go fishing. During the Jurassic period, many parts of the current land were flooded. There, in the shallows, in the warm water, many organisms lived, and a special plankton colored the water red. If the blood color didn't scare you, you would have been able to catch a snail, but this would also have been a life-threatening so. affair. 
The seas and oceans of that era were so I can't live dangerous there. Come on, predators. bro. For example, Tell me such some as pros. the Lyopleurodon. Its teeth were about 7 centimeters long or 2.7 inches. If you didn't get away in time, you could have become the prey yourself. And even a vegan diet Apples. in the Jurassic period would be a test for a person. At that time, many different plants grew on the earth, but without hints of flowers, berries, or fruit. There was something like the fruit of a modern ginkgo, but because of the disgusting smell of excrement, you would have hardly been able to eat it. Fungi and seaweed were common there, but none of the species were similar to what humans so I can't live today. Here. That's what you're just saying. Yeah, so that's what that's the video, man. You can't live there. Cause I, I used to think, yo, dinosaurs, bro, great, yummy, we're gonna go omelets, everything, steak and T-Rex meat, all this good stuff, but yeah, Looks like it's not, it's not all that good. This doesn't mean that they were all poisonous. However, you would have only had one chance to find out. I should out. take this guy at with me best, though, to Jurassic World. A successful World. experience would have ended in food poisoning. At worst, a painful no. death. If one human was alive in the Jurassic period, this person would have been doomed to death. Most likely, it would have happened in a couple of days. At the same time, if there were really a lot of people, they would have been able to adapt. I'm However, the use of metal would have to be forgotten, even if you brought it with you from modern Why? times. In conditions of high humidity, it would quickly become covered with rust. To get anything on the spot would be simply impossible. It's too hard to work in conditions of a lack of oxygen. But even if they adapted, humans wouldn't be able to live with the dinosaurs in peace. So says biologist well, and who paleontologist said, who talked about Victoria. Peace? I said we I said eat them, make them your pets. Just some instantly you know enslave the dinosaurs, bro. Like <laughs> that's what humans have done throughout the centuries. So why not? They're like like I would just see I can see myself on a huge T Rex. I'm just like, go, go. You know, a little so like 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 the horses, like the horses. So it'd be, it'd be it's cool though. It's cool though. I I feel like um yeah, Victoria, you yeah, you were tripping, bro. Yeah, we could definitely, I could definitely work. Not we, I could work with these dinosaurs. From the Royal Ontario Museum, based on our current relationship with large predators such as lions, wolves, and bears. It's clear that humans Bro, and even predators like lions. rarely get along with each other. For example, to protect our homes from wolves, people almost destroyed this animal's entire population in North America. It's unclear whether this would have worked with a predator that's 70 times larger than a wolf. One hope might have been probably finding a would've. corner of the earth where the dinosaurs and other monsters of the past weren't able to reach us. Despite all the danger and unpredictability of the behavior of ancient animals, Man, scientists have long been trying to resurrect them. Researchers led by geneticist George Church at Harvard University are trying to insert mammoth genes extracted from ancient DNA into the modern genome of the Asian elephant. If they succeed, these huge woolly creatures bro, may reap. Man, leave my boy that Asian elephant alone, bro. My boy been just trying to live by him, so he probably hates these mammoths too. They're probably like his ops. So like, how you? Come on, man. I, mm, it's cool and all, but it's just the hairy elephant with two huge tusks. That's all it is. Like, we don't need more elephants. Come on, bro. Here on Earth, in a few we don't decades, need them. scientists are also trying to resurrect the dinosaur. But man, there's a problem what? here. These huge lizards have been extinct for too long, and it takes a lot of work to get their DNA. However, Great. in a sense, dinosaurs still live side by side with us. Crocodiles, birds, and turtles are all descendants of ancient lizards that managed to evolve and survive to the present day. So, you can touch the story at any time. Just reach out your hand. All of the information I've used to create this video is current nah, at the time. Nah, man, I'm good, bro. I'm not into, I'm not a dinosaur fan like that. Only like if I could like ride it, 
like have fun with with my dinosaur, bro. I'm sweet. I got. I'll, I'll take the. You know, I'll take the offer. I'll be like, bro, like for real, bro, like yeah, take me back. Cause oxygen, bro. I don't really mind. I'ma just take my oxygen tank and I'll be sweet for a couple, you know, for a while. Then, yeah, it's not a really good idea. But you know, I feel like I'll definitely adapt. But you guys, tell me what you think about these dinosaurs, man. Yeah, if you made it this far, thank you and have a nice day.